what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> this is the commentary booth at Alamo Mode 3. I'm going to talk like this so Char can make fun of me while he plays a set, because apparently he did that in the first set that he played. And it also enables Nick to go Nicko mode, I've heard. <laughs> Give him that raw advantage. And they're all earmuffed up, so they can't even make fun of me now. Anyways. The headphones come on. The cheese leaves the room. Um, I assume this is a button check. Holy moly. What is a dash dance? <laughs> is this... Is this, this, this is... Okay. No. No. I'm not sure... I'm not sure what they're doing. Alright. That would have been a cool match, though. Yeah, where Nick doesn't use his own tag. <laughs> and he plays Rosalina. Alright, that was a decisive rock, paper, scissors. Only took one clash. <laughs> Sounds like Nick won. That's a lot of mental damage to start off a set. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully he'll be able to recover from that rock, paper, scissors to be. <laughs> He's already... <laughs> Char is already at a... At a confidence deficit. Oh yeah, he's, he's basically behind a stock he, at this point. Yeah, he's basically, uh, he's got an uphill battle from game zero. Bat battlefield forms, Matt, oh. <laughs> what? It just said random. <laughs> What's happening? Guys, did it, did you accidentally hit random? Did you hit random? It, it said random it when said it It said random. That's kind of epic. All right, it, the the true games begin. Yeah, Char. Um, what I think he said two days ago, he was only gonna go Falco, Yoshi, and Cloud. He was really. Uh, last night I was playing some. Uh, Nick and I were playing games with him for some practice for today. Uh huh. And he was going solo Yoshi. He was w ready to flex his Yoshi on this tournament. I've seen it's him play Yoshi this tournament. Yeah. But okay. I okay. Mean, like, I don't know. It's just the comfort cloud. I'm not exactly sure, you know, what's going on exactly, but maybe uh, maybe he's more comfortable with Fox against uh, Pokemon Trainer, or sorry, Wolf, Wolf. not Fox. Edgy I think, Fox. I think I said Cloud on accident. Yeah, we're all over. We're all over. It the doesn't place. matter. Yeah, you know. Every character is the same anyway. Every character is the same anyways. All right. So relatively even game here. It looks like Char is. Looking to kind of just space him out with these lasers, make him force the approach. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's. What? <laughs> it always amazes me how uh, far Ivasaur's recovery can go. It, it doesn't make sense. It, it really. It, the, the actual, like, hitbox, but then when it's tethering to the ledge, it magically grows twice in length. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can tell. Uh, and yeah, there's a lot of respect going on here. You can, like, neither of them really want to lose this first stock. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the uh, teller of how this game's going to go, whoever takes this first stock. You can really... It's really obvious who picked this stage because this is Ivasaur's favorite stage, apart from Lilat. With that gigantic platform in the middle, you can just throw up <laughs> up airs. And yeah, you can throw out a lot of up airs on this. Like, like that. Alright, a lot of extra credit going on Nostad's side right now. Char's going to have to find a kill pretty quick, otherwise this might get out of hand. Yeah, he's uh, he's losing ground by the minute. And you, you can see um, he started to to look for like a panic down smash there. He uh, used rolls instead of traditional movement, and oh my oh, gosh. Oh gosh. The <sighs> cheeky Charizard iframe kill. Yeah, you know, the iframes can scare people into rolling back. And then yeah. 
before I've, you know it. I've done. fallen for it many times. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he has a jump here. Wow. This is... That was a, that was a very, very quick game. That was a very... That was what? Well, that game was... That was like a minute two, and like ten seconds? No, it was, I think it's eight minutes. Oh, it was eight minutes? Okay. So, but those last two stocks were uh, brutal. Because <laughs> what it was... A, that was... It was a stock at... 20 something and then it was I if, if you're not careful if you don't know how to time those air dodges or just get out of that uh squirrel's gonna take you away yeah to his little special place yeah you gotta always remember to di out off stage and then hopefully fall out of the combo but i think he mm -hmm. was he was trying to hold in and jump uh out of the combo but his jump got caught and then yep from there it was lights out all right. Hate to see it, but it's cool right. to watch. So, so I know he likes Lilat strictly because it's Wolf's stage, and not because he believes it's actually good for the character. I have, I am very. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I mean, this is this is Ivasaur's like. Yeah, favorite I mean, it's, place. It's really interesting, and this is just like the epitome of a comfort pick. So we'll, we'll see how it works out. Hopefully, that'll balance out the raw advantage. Immediately switches to Ivasaur. Hopefully, it'll balance out the. Uh, huge advantage Ivysaur has in this stage. Uh -huh. Those down airs at the ledge are nuts. Ooh, so far he's just been poking at uh, Nick, seeing if he can get some percent gain. Yeah, so far this is this is basically the last game. So let's see if Char can actually manage to find a gill. And, uh, definitely don't want to overextend. Yeah, just it, keep bullying him, force him into a bad situation. But of course, that uh, that razor leaf is actually pretty good for a uh, force because it, it doesn't even clank with the wolf laser. Like wolf laser is like the projectile to beat all projectiles. Yet for some reason, Ivysaur doesn't care. <laughs> Ivysaur doesn't care about a lot yeah, of things. Yeah, Ivysaur does not care about a lot of things. A lot of a lot of side B's on stage right now. A few of them have, have been punished pretty severely. You'll see. Yeah. If he can manage to cut that habit out right now. Yeah, he's going to have to at least try and grab the ledge or recover in any sort of different way. Which I imagine as a wolf, you know, it's it's not easy to decide to be onto a lilac ledge. It's a little awkward. You don't want to yeah. accidentally get caught underneath. Yeah, those those slants are really can be pretty confusing. Well, that was actually a pretty good mix-up there, where instead of uh, doing the traditional high uh, side B he's been doing, he uh, he stalled out there with the up B and he went straight into him. And I mean, I wasn't expecting it. I didn't, yeah, that like, was. I would have gotten hit there for that sure. That was creative. I don't know what that up smash was. Uh, well, it it scoops rolls. Maybe if he went for a grab, it would have hit his grab. Um, but yeah, you know, probably a little overzealous. Yeah, especially for... Oh my gosh, that was like almost... Wow. I think that combo honestly started at zero, and he's at 82 right now. That's That was gross. You see uh, Char is getting a little bit uh, scared here. He's trying to look for something that doesn't exist. Well... Well, I mean, just, you know, he's going for lasers as a way to force Ivysaur to approach. And, yep. And really, it's, it's a game of pay and oh. Wow. Punishing the Charizard switch. I, I feel like if Charizard's on stage, he can safely side B, and there's a much higher chance of actually hitting something. <laughs> All right. Good amount of extra credit there on that stock, so... As long as uh, Nostad doesn't manage to form a 80% combo here again, hopefully Char <laughs> will, uh, really all he has to do is play that laser game he's been playing. That was a pretty good uh, ledge trap. Don't know why he chose to, to throw Charizard out, maybe um, so beefing the, up a the, little bit. So what happened was, first his jump got taken by the laser and then the up B got hit by the laser so he was actually forced to switch to Charizard there. Oh, is, is Charizard allowed, is Charizard like the best like panic recovery? No, no, like Ivysaur literally could not recover in that situation so he had to switch in order to be able to have a refresh jump and up B. Oh, yeah. okay, alright. I guess I just wasn't paying attention, sorry about that. Oh. 
Oh, this is dangerous yeah, ground. Oh, don't, please don't. Oh, he did oh, it. Oh, he did it. If he had just stayed calm and collected, you know, probably could have taken that, but went with the panic, uh, so I'd be on the stage, and that's a 2-0 for Nostat. Close games.